Dot, dot, dot. Guinea pig? Mm. Mm. Hey, Homer, did you know that guinea pigs are self-groomers? And when they get excited, they jump straight up. It's called popcorning. Lisa got to you. Lisa, your father and I are very concerned about all this hinting. Hmm. I've never had a pet of my very own. I, Lisa Simpson, hereby promise to take full responsibility for this dog, cat, other. Circle other. Oh, my God, I'm getting a guinea pig. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The kid parent contract. Unenforceable, yet you feel like you didn't completely cave. You're doing the right thing adopting a rescue pig. You know, most of these guys are rejects from the big guinea pig mills in the Midwest. <gasps> but this fellow is so fuzzy. Well, they all have their charms. This one's nibbling a sunflower seed. Look at that hair. Oh, I just want to comb it forever. That one's fur looks like a tuxedo. A band-aid on its tail. Oh. <gasps> Albino! Maybe I should get that sick one. If I don't, no one else will. <gasps> Bart, list your top five. Best to worst. No, 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 no. Worst to best. I just wish the gray one had the brown one's personality. She thinks she's decided. Don't say a thing. Don't blow this. I've tried to give Pokey a perfect replica of his natural habitat. Well, there's plenty of room because Pokey's gone. <gasps> Where'd he go? I hear chewing. No, that's a much bigger animal. Pokey! Our bow painting! I'm sorry, Mom. Hmm. <sighs> well, I guess we have to go to an art gallery and buy a new painting. Sure, we could go to a fancy gallery and spend a bunch of money, or... seen a painting with a lighthouse before. This could be our new living room painting. Oh, it looks great. Well, to me it looks like garbage salad. But that's the great thing about art. Hmm. Hey, look, there's a signature that the frame covered up. Johan Oldenvelt. We should have it appraised. Pfft, you guys are crazy. I never even heard of that guy. It's not like it was painted by Leonardo da Vinci Code. You're right. This is an early career Oldenfeld. Quite valuable. Oh, my God. I expect it to go somewhere between eighty to $100,000. The Van Houtens owned this for years and never knew how much it was worth. Think how happy they'll be when we sell it and split the money with them. Split it? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Split it with them? Kirk and Luann didn't know what the painting was worth when they sold it. Yes, they sold it to us. So now it's our painting. But the Van Houtens are our friends. Are they, Marge? If you think about it, aren't they really just the parents of a kid who happens to hang out with our kid? All our friends are like that. How about this? What if we give the Van Houtens 25% of the money? Then they'll just be mad about the 65% that we're keeping. Okay, I see your point. We should sell the painting, keep all the money, and never, ever tell the Van Houtens. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, sweetie, you want your parents to be happy, don't you? I guess. I guess! <laughs> You're funny! No wonder Lisa's in love with you. She is? You found out that painting was worth big bucks, and you weren't going to tell us? I don't know what you're talking about. Hide the treasure. I'm sorry, Mr. S. I cracked. We trusted you. I let Homer use our master bathroom. Then you stab us in the back. We were going to treat you to dinner at an upscale chain restaurant and never explain why, but now forget it. Oh, so that's how it is. That's exactly how it is. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Tonight, a special report. Fat cat art experts take advantage of John and Jane yard sale. So if you see the Simpsons walking down your street, lock your doors and hide your friendship. This one's against us. This one's for us. 
Four, four, against, four, against. We don't even get this many Christmas cards. All sales are final. Why this capers, moron? First lot, Untitled Landscape by Johann Oldenfeld from the collection of Homer J. and Marge B. Simpson. Let's open the bidding at $80,000. That painting belongs to me. Oh. Dawn. Good to see you again, Beef Kirky. Who is this woman? Uh... Kirk stole it from me. But I didn't know it was valuable till I saw the story on TV. What? I bought that painting. She's lying. The auction is on hold until we can determine the true ownership. Anybody want to give me a ride home? Going once? Going twice? Sold to the lonely auctioneer. Ah! <laughs> what you need, my friend, is the Canadian duff. Beauty, eh? So... Why does that chick think she owns the painting? Oh, Dawn and I went on a vacation to a resort island called Isla Verde. Okay, all I gotta do is take a quick ferry to Isla Verde, find Cafe Artiste, and they'll back up Kurt's story. That will prove the painting was his and now ours. That picture has brought out the worst in everyone. Please, just let it go. You're not gonna let it go, are you? Hmm, this quaint artist community has gotten a little touristy. Excuse me, we're trying to find Café Artiste. Ah yes, top of the hill. Mm. Welcome to Café Artiste. A friend of mine uh, bought a painting here. Oh yes, I remember that painting. And that is the man I sold it to. And that man sold it to me. That proves the painting is mine. You don't even know who painted that picture. Yes, we do. It's a Johann Oldenvelt. Long. I look at overcrowding in America's prisons. Prison overcrowding? I've got a solution for that. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> We're giving away tickets to the latest film by acclaimed director, Lads Will Clarent. <gasps> hey, I won four free movie tickets, and it starts in half an hour. Free movie tickets? I feel like Roger Ebert or his kiss-ass new partner. But we don't have a sitter for Maggie. <laughs> Howdy, Homer. You here for a view of my shampooing? Shut up, Flanders. I need a favor. Would you mind watching Maggie for a while? All right, neighbor. I'll babysit. Thanks, Ned. Hey, you wear a bathing suit in the bathtub? Yeah, so I can't see my own trinket ink. Makes sense. Hmm. Mom, am I a butch or a femme? Honey, you can be anything you want to be. Ah, Odi, porvad, fari. What language is this? Gibby Gabby? It's Albanian, but the producers added subtitles to make it commercial. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Maggie. That's something to collect, not enjoy. You like them, huh? Come on, I'll show you the other 300. <laughs> How could this have... Look at me, I'm a grad student. I'm 30 years old and I made $600 last year. Burr, don't make fun of grad students. They just made a terrible life choice. Oh, Ned, let me give you a little something for babysitting. Oh, I can't take money from a neighbor. Although business at the Leftorium's been pretty slow since that big chain store came to town. Why don't you rent out a room? Well, it might be fun to be a landlord. Uh, land fella, <laughs> there's only one lord. Well, I do appreciate that you've got a cashier's check. Now, do you have any pets? <laughs> We're, like, here about the room. We moved out of our dorm because it was, like, co-ed. <laughs> Here's your room, ladies. You can catch some Z's while you earn those degrees. SexySlumberParty.com? It's flashing. We better click it. <laughs> you may inside come. I got five bad cappuccinos for Ned's pre-meds. Flanders! <laughs> Spank me again with little boy's picture. <laughs> Cantily clad co-eds? Why, you little duck! <laughs> you have a libido! Dad, you... look who's in there! Flanders? What a combination. Hot chicks and stupid Flanders. 
And you say Mr. Flanders remains completely ignorant of their dot Kama Sutra? And the best part is, stupid Flanders doesn't even know what's happening in his stupid house. Hence my nickname, Stupid Flanders. <laughs> How are those two comely porters of yours, Ned? <laughs> well, Mel, they're swell. Oh, yeah. They're just what my laptop needed. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? <laughs> Oh, Bart, turn away from that screen and look out the window. <laughs> no problemo. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, are you tell him right now. Oh. Ned, Homer has something to tell you. Ooh. Uh. You soft core sophomores took advantage of my trustful nature and sullied the internet by putting pornography on it. Get out! The whole town is laughing at me behind my back. I guess you're the only real friend I have. Are you kidding? Homer's the one what wised us up to the sexy goings on. What's wrong, Daddy? Well, Toddy, you know how I said our friends are like the Canaanites? Today I realize they're more like the Midianites. <gasps> Made in Humbleton, PA. Huh. Dad, I don't think you realize what you've done. You've totally humiliated the best friend the Simpsons ever had. You're right. What's this? Goodbye, Springfield. The Flanders family has pulled up stakes. <laughs> this is so humiliating. <laughs> well, at least your name's on the bowl. Hi, I'm Homer Simpson. I live next door. Um, and um, I want to start our relationship off on the right foot. So if you need anything, Anything at all. Huh, what jag off left this here? Boys, we're home. Hey, Coach, do you mind turning down the music? My baby's trying to take a nap. That's too bad, because my twins are just waking up, dude. This town is sweeter than a cake made of pie. Even the dogs curb themselves. Everyone new begins here, in the dimple department. I'm afraid you'll have to lose the, uh, hippie lip. <gasps> Get rid of Dr. Fuzzenstein? Why? I'll see what I can do. Very good. Until then, you can wear this. Why do you have to shave your nose, neighbor? You know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> This is for you. Chop shop! Huh? <gasps> hey, you knocked out my power! Flanders. Huh? What are you doing, reminiscing? Like a woman? Like a woman who's made the biggest mistake of her life! <laughs> <gasps> Homer? What are you doing here? Oh, I was just driving around the mid-Atlantic state. I want you to come back to Springfield. Why? So you can make me a laughing stock again? Oh, Ned, I don't deserve you as a neighbor. But will you forgive a young, handsome fool and come home? Boys, put on your goody two-shoes. We're moving back to Springfield. But I have a girlfriend. Now you got a pen pal. I guess I'm just gonna have to point out your $200,000 check bounced. Illegally, I still own this house. Oh yeah? Tell it to the Marines.
I'll take eight. What the? You idiot. Mint condition copies are like $40,000 each. Must lie down on pile of unsold Hulk hands. Every man? He's not a hero for Marvel, DC, Image, or Wildstorm. It was a typical day for delivery man, Avery Man. <laughs> 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 Every man absorbs the powers of every superhero whose comic book he touches. Orb. We have new gentlemen. <laughs> uh, put me in Sing Sing! It's safer! Zors! Going somewhere? Put my comic. Do. You made this? Shut up! No one is interested in the critical judgment of a worthless child. Actually, I like it. Very well. I shall self-publish! Comic Book Guy's been writing these for years. Who knew a troubled person could be creative? Yeah, still waters run deep. We've already made everything that could possibly be a movie into a great movie. There's nothing left. Dad, can we go? I've watched all the DVDs in the Bentley. Jonah, what's that in your head? That's it. Our next big summer movie will be Everyman. Uh, Marv, Ginormous Pictures bought the rights to Everyman three weeks ago. Damn it! Let me get to the point. It is not money I am after, or women. I know that is impossible. What I want is to pick the actor who will play Everyman. Oh, I played hardball with Hollywood. The closest I will ever come to playing a sport in my life. Wherever there's a crime to be solved, I will be there to solve. Wanna see it any other way, like Sad or Brooklyn or a Richard Nixon voice? Pass. Can you help me out? I need change for a dollar. Oh, I also need a dollar. Let's go around the table and everybody say one amazing thing that happened to them today, Lisa. Well, I qualified for the National Math... To me! <laughs> Some Hollywood idiots hired me to star in a movie! Whoa! But we have a bigger problem. Homer, my brother and I showed this picture of you to a cross-section of typical moviegoers. Not one thought you looked like a superhero. Several people stared at the sun, attempting to blind themselves. Lyle McCarthy. Finally, the answer to my problem. What do you do? He's the trainer to the stars. Here's what Brad and Angelina looked like before they met me. Hmm. A lot of people have come to this town and changed, but not me. Oh. No, excuse me. I have to read a story to my adopted Cambodian orphan. Homer, do you know why you eat? Because I'm swallowing my frustrations and disappointments? Something bad happens, and you cope by cramming a donut in your mouth. Oh, that song's a little on the nose. Can we do it to David Bowie's Heroes? Yeah, it's your montage. This montage sounds really exhausting. How about I just do a walking around sad montage? No. 1,001, 10,002, and fit. I got a bail. I'm with every man right now. No, 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 no. Don't worry. He totally sucks. I'm only lying to him. Goodbye. Bad boy. Stripper up. Fireman down. Mm. And sexy. Mm. Heroic. Mm. Sexy. Mm. Heroic. Mm. And sexy. Mm. Heroic. Mm. Earn that money. <laughs> Thank Wonder Woman for giving me the boobs to distract the guards. And cut. What'd you think, kids? That was awesome. Although there were a few holes in his story. Oh, homie. Take your shirt off again. <laughs> Oh, there's less of you to love, but I love you even more. Nah, what was that? Your other hand. Cut! Terrific! Bring in the next helicopter. I get paid a fortune, I've got a closet full of free sneakers and watches, and I get to hire my friend. At least you get to see my face, unlike Carl. I'm being paid to do what I love. I know this is a bad time, but I'm leaving for another gig. Is that all this temporary job was to you? A gig? Don't take it personally, home team. Goodbye.
Oh, this other cheese cube stuck to the first one. Well, that still technically counts as one. Oh, one thing's for sure. I'm not every man. Cut! <laughs> oh, Marge, I'm ready for some loving. Come and get me! I have to lose weight now. Do you have anything that'll make me vomit? Well, I don't know. I might have some milk that has expired. Ah, here we are. Whatever you do, do not chew the chunks. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Clean up in aisles three, two, one. Ugh. This film is an embarrassment of jury and magnitude. <laughs> How you doing, man? Half the shots, he's fat. Half the shots, he's thin.